Beef, pork and lamb are known as red meat. Red meat is an important part of a balanced diet and contains many of the nutrients essential for good health and for young people's healthy growth. Red meat is an important source of many types of vitamins, particularly vitamin D and B vitamins such as thiamin, riboflavin, B6 and B12. B vitamins are involved in energy release making red blood cells and are important for chemical reactions within the body. Vitamin D helps the body to absorb calcium and is good for healthy growth of bones and teeth. Red meat is a rich source of minerals such as iron. Iron is a vital mineral for blood formation and carries oxygen around the body to supply it to tissues. Iron also helps maintain the immune system and produce energy. Lean red meat is the best source of iron, which is also found in dark poultry meat and salmon. It can also be found in green vegetables, fortified breakfast cereals, bread, pulses, dried fruit and nuts. If iron levels are low, the amount of haemoglobin in our red blood cells is reduced, as well as the number of red blood cells. Iron deficiency is called anemia and is one of the most commonly occurring nutrient deficiencies in the UK. It can affect many functions of the body. Children and teenagers, especially girls, are in the groups most at risk from having iron deficiency, which can make them feel very lethargic and less attentive at school. Red meat is also a good source of zinc, which is important for a healthy immune system and children's growth. The body gets its supply of zinc from food. Beef and lamb are the best sources of zinc. Fat, along with protein and carbohydrates, supply calories to the body. Some fat is needed for the proper functioning of the body and it provides essential fatty acids, which are not made by the body and must be taken from food. The fat content of lean red meat has been reduced greatly over the last 30 years. Lean pork now has 4% fat content, lean beef 5% and lean lamb has 8%. Many of the important nutrients in meat are found in the lean part, so fat can be reduced without reducing the nutritional benefits. The meat industry has reduced the fat content of lean red meat in several ways. Selective breeding. Since the early 70s, animals who grow fastest and leanest have been selected as parents for the next generation of livestock, so breeding out fattier animals. This natural process of selective breeding has resulted in much leaner animals than in the past. Animal feed. In the same way that we adjust our diets to change our body weight, shape and size, so the meat industry has adjusted animals' lean to fat ratio, especially the amount of fatty acid by changing the feed given to livestock animals. But modern butchery has been the most important way of reducing the fat content of lean meat. Each muscle is surrounded by some fat. Traditional butchery cuts across several muscles, whereas modern butchery separates muscles to remove unwanted fat, resulting in leaner cuts. Modern butchery has also improved the eating quality of meat and produced new cuts of meat ideal for today's quick and healthy cooking styles such as stir-frying.